Okay, um, I'm just going to go through the standard controller settings um, or the uh, standard con uh, controller, how to actually use it without going in and altering any of the, the actual settings. So first of all, you want to start uh, the controller up, the M5 controller, and you just press this for a few seconds, this button here, and that's up. Okay, so we've got the odd meter there. It's in miles, and my previous uh, video shows you how you can change that to kilometers, um, and there's quite a few other settings you can change. But just now we're just looking at the standard settings for when you're actually riding the, the bike. So when you normally start it up, it'll go into this here. So we've got pressed down, we're getting to zero. Zero means there's no power assistance at all. Um, but you can still, you know, monitor the, the speed and the distance as you ride it like an ordinary bike. Uh, and then if we go up, we've got one, pedal assistance, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. The additional thing that you can do with this is um, the walk mode. So I'm just going to go down to, to one. Um, this works in all the power assistance or pedal assistance modes. If you actually press either this button here or this button here down for a few seconds, I'll go into the walk mode. Um, so make sure when you do this that you're not going to, you know, the bike's not going to sh suddenly shoot forward because it can take you uh, by surprise if you're not careful. So, um, Get ready to put the brake on. So I'm going to press this down for a few seconds. And walk. Okay, so that's it. And walk. Okay. So press a few seconds. Walk. Okay. And, uh, okay, so I'm now going to go through a few of the other settings. So we're on the odd meter here. Um, now, if I press this button, lower button here, um, once it takes me into trip meter. So that's for each individual trip. You know, every time you set out, uh, this will record the, the distance either in kilometers or miles. Um, the odd meter records the same, but that records it. You know, it's a continuous recording of the total distance the bike's done, you know, from new. Um, so we're on the trip meter here, and if I press this button here once more, it goes on to voltage. Now this is actual voltage of the, the, the battery. So the 48 volt battery, but when it's fully charged, you know, this display normally shows about, you know, 53, uh, almost 54 uh, volts. Um, uh, as the battery depletes, you know, as you're using the, the bike, get a drop down uh, to, you know, mid, you know, mid forties. Uh, once it gets about mid forties, you know, the, the battery is pretty well uh, depleted. Um, but it's a good way to monitor how far you're actually getting. It's more accurate than this bar at the top, which tends to go up and down depending on how much current you're, you're using. Um, so sometimes I actually go really quite low, be using a lot of current on a, you know, steep hill, uh, um, using a lot of pedal or power assistance, and uh, and then you stop, uh, um, you know, you're on sort of easier uh, ground, an easier road, or going downhill, you stop pedalling, you know, this bar actually moves up, okay. Um, so it tends to vary quite a bit. I, I don't find it particularly useful. Once it's about halfway, you know, it can be, you know, close to almost, you know, empty battery, you know, once it, it drops just below halfway. Whereas the top section, when it's, you know, full, seems to remain at that for quite a long period of time. So I find the, you know, the voltage a lot more useful. Right, if I press this button once more again, it takes me into the current. So the current is basically the amount of power that you, 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 the, the, the motor is actually using. So the high, higher the, the current, you know, the, the quicker it depletes the battery, drains the battery, but the more power you get. Um, so I find generally, 
you know, when I'm using the bike in the steepest sort of hills and I'm using maximum power, I'm getting up to uh, maybe seven, seven amps. Um, some people say they get, they get eight, but I certainly get about seven. Uh, whereas if I'm just cycling along with a bit of pedal assistance, it's usually around about, you know, two, three, uh, four amps. Um, and then I get to a steep section uh, and I'm pedaling and really, or using the throttle, it can go up to about seven. Uh, it's seven generally, you know, when the battery's been recently charged. Once the battery's almost empty, it often doesn't go quite as high and you can see the power bar at the, the top going down really low. And once it gets down to the last two little dots at the bottom, uh, you know, the battery can sometimes shut out if you, if you try and keep putting power on because it's, uh, it's got a automatic shut out at below 39 volts. Um, what usually happens when the battery's about to shut out, the display starts to flash on and off. Now, if you see that happening, um, you know, I, I just basically stop using any uh, power on, on the, the bike and the display will quite often actually start to, to move up in the power bar and you will get a bit more mileage um, and just be very careful use it maybe a uh, pedal assistance or power assistance one you get quite a lot of more mileage after that however if I keep it on pedal assistance uh, five and uh, you know using a lot of power on a steep uh, section uh, you know the the battery often just yeah, just cut out and that that is it whereas if i'd actually stopped using the the full power um you know the battery will actually gain a wee bit charge give me a wee bit more uh, mileage right there the next setting or the the final setting using this button here is the timer so basically uh give us the amount of time that the display uh, the controller has been on okay so that's quite useful it uh, lets you know how long you've been you know sort of cycling uh, that together with the actual trip meter gives you a good a good idea okay right if i press this again that's us back at the the odd meter okay so in, in mileage okay there's a few other settings that um including a cruise mode that I'll explain later on once I get a chance. Now, if you're interested in hearing about the, the cruise uh, mode, please uh, you know, let us know in the, the comments section. OK, hopefully this is, you found this quite useful. OK, uh, so I'm just going to switch the, the controller off. So press for a few seconds and that's off.